There are rewarding careers in golf course maintenance and management for all ages and abilities. If you love the outdoor life and you're not afraid of hard work, there will almost certainly be a place for you. You can be an assistant greenkeeper without any formal qualifications, but for those who want to progress through the profession, the prospects and the training opportunities have never been better. The range of specialist courses is as wide as the final fairway of the old course at St Andrews, from craft level vocational qualifications right up to a master's degree in sports surface technology. So what's the best route to the top of the profession? Quite simply, there's no best route. Some take an exclusively vocational path to the summit, others pursue an academic route for as long as they can. But nowadays the majority choose to zigzag between the two and combine the strengths of both training approaches. Let me explain in more detail with the help of a couple of possible routes through the system. Imagine you're 16 years old with a love of the outdoor life, a passion for sport and five or six GCSEs. What are your options? Stay at school for A-levels or hires in Scotland? Start earning with a job as an apprentice assistant greenkeeper? Or go to the local college for one year? National certificate course or try a two-year national diploma slightly further afield? You select a diploma route. 18 months at college and six months work placement out on the golf course. You're now 18 and want to start earning a proper wage. So for the moment, the prospect of more study to higher national certificate or higher national diploma is put on hold and you get a job as an assistant greenkeeper. You could at any stage opt back into full-time training, perhaps an HND and then a degree in turf science but you're enjoying your life in the fresh air. So you decide to stay where you are, take the vacation route and go for an NVQ, level two in sports turf. In Scotland, a Scottish vocational qualification. In the Republic of Ireland, a vocational certificate. Armed with that, you get promoted to first assistant greenkeeper. You're now nearly 20 and taking home a salary in the middle 16 to 18,000 a year. So again, the possibility of returning to college for more academic qualifications is ignored. Instead, you get cracking on adding a vocational qualification level three to your portfolio. Two years later, you're still ambitious and tempted to add the initials HND or BSc to your name. But with a national diploma, vocational qualifications at levels two and three, and with four years' experience, you could also get that head greenkeeper's job at the neighboring club and a sizable pay rise. A few challenging but happy years later, yet another career crossroad. Stay and try for the highest vocational qualification, that's level four, or move to a better club, but with the eye on the big prize, a job as course manager at a prestigious club. You decide, age 26, it's time to go back to college for a master's degree. Armed with that, and given your background, the world is your oyster. You are 18 years old with three A-levels, or hires as they're known in Scotland, and a burning ambition to be in charge of a championship course. You've got the grades to study for a degree in turf grass science. You could go straight into work as an apprentice assistant greenkeeper and study part-time for your higher national certificate. Or, and this is your choice, take a higher national diploma, a three-year sandwich course and a healthy mix of theory and practice. At the end of three years, rather than continue the academic route to an honours degree, you fancy and land a job as first assistant greenkeeper. After breezing through vocational qualification level two in less than the average 18 months, you're offered promotion to deputy head greenkeeper. That and the chance of adding to the level three is declined. Instead, you decide the time is right for adding the initials BSc to your name. The fact that the second year of the four-year turf science course will be spent on placement in the UK or overseas is the clincher. Four years on, you're now 27, and you have a whole new set of options. More academic study to a master's degree in the UK, the head greenkeeper's job at the local municipal course, or the chance to get more experience overseas. You choose a placement as deputy superintendent overseas, and why ever not? We all need a bit of sunshine in our lives. The job and the lifestyle are all you hope for, but you start to miss your family and old friends, so it's time to move back home. There are two available openings, 
college lecturer or a plum job as a course manager at a recently constructed leisure complex near your hometown. Your teenage dream is still alive. In a letter to your old boss overseas you write, it's a great course, but it's not championship standard, not yet.